Welcome to another RSR. Tonight I'm reviewing Miscellaneous Police FC 2, Arnett Gardens FC 1, in the group stage of the 2024 CONCACAF Caribbean Cup Group A, match day three, the final match of match day three. Two more match weeks left in this tournament in the group stage. Of course, wow. The quarterfinals are being played in the Central American Cup over the next two weeks. But Miscellaneous Police FC, the Trinidadian Club, pulled a win over Arnett Gardens FC. This match, not really too surprised as it goes, to be honest. I'm not too surprised to a certain extent. The way this game was played, it was very sloppy. A very sloppy football match. But in the end, you wish that they could have played better. Arnett Gardens, tough team, but in the end, Police FC were the better side at finishing their chances. I think they were the less sloppy side. Yes, Arnett Gardens definitely dominated the second half. They definitely dominated the run of play in the second half after they got their equalizing goal. But in the end, Police FC were better against the run of play, and they took their chance, and they, in the end, scored their chance. And there's your answer. Right there, there's your answer. Halftime was nil-nil, a very boring first half, a very sloppy first half, a very shaky first half, a half where I wasn't very happy with how the match went. I wasn't very happy with how the match played out, how the game was going. I wasn't very happy with it at all. I think both teams very much so were questionable at best. I would say both teams definitely had their bad moments. They were shaky. Very disjointed play. The play was very disjointed in the first half. And I don't know if that was the plan from either side. I don't know if that's what they wanted out of this game was to be disjointed. But it was very amateur. Very amateur over the first 45 minutes. And for most of the second half, even if when Arnett Gardens had the ball going down and basically cut off half the field, it still was very amateur, really. But goals were scored as follows. 47th minute, Jovan Jones, the longtime MLSer. Ball played around the top of the box. Jovan Jones takes a shot. Bad deflection. Hits the back of the net. 47th minute, 1-0. A goal for Jovan Jones. Takes the lead for Police FC. 49th minute, two minutes later, Arnett Gardens are absolutely blazing down the pitch on a counterattack. Warner Brown scores the goal. Takes a shot. Keeper comes way off his line. There was no way after he put it wide that the keeper was going to get that. It hits the back of the net. 1-1 in the 49th minute. Then in the 84th minute, Police FC gets a ball against the run of play as well. Runs down the pitch. Ball crossed in. Ball hits the hand of the keeper but falls straight to Ezekiel Kaser. Kaser taps it in because he had mostly an open net after the keeper saved it right where it was an open net had to just roll it in he did 84th minute two to one for police fc that's the way it would end miscellaneous police fc win two to one with the tap in against the run of play full-time stats are as follows 17 shots to 22 seven shots on goal to 12 55 percent possession to 45 percent possession 336 passes to 260 80% pass accuracy to 86%, 8 fouls to 13, 0 offside to 2, 0 yellow cards to 2, 0 red cards to 0, 5 corners to 9. Listen, that game, first half, boring. Second half, legitimately, it was, it was good for Arnett Gardens until they gave up the goal. They legitimately shot themselves in the foot. The two goals within two minutes just to start off the half. Then Arnett Gardens dominated possession. Had the ball going around their offensive half. A lot of good saves. 
I would say. I think there were a lot of good defensive plays by Police FC to keep it a tie game instead of them going down. Their defense played very well in the second half. I think they were less shaky. I think the way that was played by Police FC, I think their defense was wonderful comparatively to other comparatively to other parts of the team or other parts of the game. When you look at it, Police FC bided their time. I think in most cases they bided their time in this game. They bided their time. They knew where they were going. And they figured out how to win this game. Was it boring to a certain extent? Yes, for sure. I won't say it wasn't. It was a very, very boring game to a certain extent. But Arnett Gardens, they just didn't really have it. Even when they had a lot of chances and had the ball basically pinned them back, it still didn't go their way. And, you know, if you look at it, they had a lot of a chance to win this game. They didn't. They let them get in behind late on against the run of play. There's your win for Police FC. And they found the right they found the right play. They found the right move, the right moment to get that ball through. Well-deserved. I mean, a well-deserved win for Police FC. They fought. They fought hard. They found the answer. They found the win. They found what they needed. I can't get mad at it, to be honest. I, I can't get mad at it at all. I think they definitely tried to bide their time and figure it out. So there you go. To me, there you go. I mean, there ain't much to say about this game. You say what you say. It is what it is. With that being said, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell your friends. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification once subscribed. Send some chats on live streams. Comment on this video. Put us in playlists. Share with friends and family. All that great stuff. I'll see you on Saturday for a live watch along and review of Colorado Rapids versus Toronto FC. Sunday, we have Domingo Futbolero Liga Emekis match. Friday, we're off. So Friday off, Toronto, Saturday, Liga Emekis Sunday. That's what we got. So I'll see you then. Have a good Friday, and I'll see you on the weekend. I'm Ron, and I'm out. Peace. See you later.